How's it going everyone? Welcome to part two, compare the day in the life of a first year medical student and a second year medical student. If you haven't seen part one yet, it's on John Lucas' channel, make sure to go check it out. So today's been pretty good. I woke up at 6.30 and started doing my Anki cards and then from eight to 10, I had my AIM class, which is my analytics and medicine course. We basically had to do a study guide for our final and then from 10 to 12, I had my Nevada community service class. Now that my classes are done for the day, I've got time to get stuff done. Let me show you guys what's on the to-do list for the rest of the day. So like I said earlier, classes are done for the day. I still have to finish Anki cards for the morning and I have to do a presentation on Horner syndrome for my PBL course. I also wanna watch at least one neuroanatomy lecture. I have two left before the exam, so if I can get one done today, that'd be great. And if I've got time, I wanna film an Anki video for my channel, maybe do some boards and beyond. And I wanna see if I can go to the Halloween store and put together an easy costume. Honestly, it's kind of a lot to get done. I'm meeting back with John Luca around seven, so it's time to get started. How's it going, everyone? If I don't already know you guys, it's really nice to meet you. My name's Jin Luca, and I'm a second year medical student studying in Canada. Now, I actually go to an MD school located in Ontario, and it's called McMaster University. And for those of you that don't know where it is or you're not familiar with it, it's actually very, very close to Niagara Falls. What's cool with it, though, is that it's actually a three-year medical program as opposed to the normal four-year program, which means that right now, even though I'm in second year, we're actually beginning our transition to being in the hospital full time. So it's been pretty busy lately, or at least my schedule like every single day, um, between trying to relearn the things that I've already learned in the past, like reviewing them, learning the new concepts that we need to know now that we're going into the hospital, and then finally trying to balance a little bit of research in whenever I can. The days are pretty full. So let me go ahead and show you what my schedule has looked like so far today. So last week, I was in the hospital for my first ever elective where I was there for a week straight, but my next elective isn't until the end of November, and that's gonna be in emergency medicine. So right now, we're gonna be doing a lot of online learning today. Uh, I started off this morning, went to the gym, then I had my clerkship modules that I had to do, so learning how to read radiographs a little bit better, and then also how to fill out death certificates and things that you're really gonna need for being in the hospital. And then uh, I had my research writing that I got out of the way, had some meetings that I had to go to, and right now, it's time for me to get started with Anki. All right, I finished my presentation on Horner syndrome, which is basically an issue with one of your sympathetic pathways that causes anhydrosis, ptosis, and meiosis. And here are the definitions of those words. So I can come up here and I can cross that off my list of things to do today. And so what I think I'm gonna do next is my Anki video and then finish my Anki cards right after, go to the Halloween store, come back and watch the lecture. And then if I've got time, I'll do boards and beyond. So I just finished my Anki cards. It's about 5.45 right now. So it took me just a little bit longer than I normally plan for. It was about two hours today. And I am starting to get hungry because there's been a lot of studying today and not a lot of eating. But uh, I just checked my email, unfortunately, and I got an urgent email from one of my supervisors. We have a paper that we're trying to publish right now and the deadline's coming up. So I do need to do a little bit of work really quickly trying to get that all sorted out. Um, I wish I could tell you guys more about it, but it's not published yet. What I will say though, is that it's a case report that I'm working on right now. I'm not really involved in like a crazy amount of publications so far since medical school started and I just started my second year now I think I've been involved in about four or five different projects and this one is a case report which means that something really interesting at the hospital happened and now we're reporting on what actually happened in that case and how the patient was treated all I can really say though is that it involves see if I could zoom in a little bit here it involves the rupture of the right gastric uh, artery right here the gastroomental artery and the patient then went into uh hemorrhagic shock and they had to treat it. So it's a really interesting thing that I'm working on right now. And then we're hopefully even trying to get like a presentation out of it too. All right, I'm done filming that video and now it's time to finish my Anki cards for the day. All right, guys, so now I'm finally done. I think I can safely say that I'm finally done all of the research portions of my day today. It's a little bit later. It's later than I wanted it to be right now. It's 6.45 uh, and I'm done most of my schoolwork. So I'm gonna go make myself something to eat. I have one more thing that I have to do today, which is my emergency medicine uh, emergency simulation that I have to do with some of my classmates. That's going to be at eight o'clock, but I also want to go ahead and review some of the emergency room medications as well before that starts. So I'm going to go make myself some dinner really quickly. Then uh, I wanted to watch some TV, but I don't think I have time for that. I'll come back and I'll go over the medications. We'll see you guys in a little bit. Yes, finally. All right, I'm at the Halloween store. I'm going to see if I can find anything. I think going as a doctor would be a little cliche. 
So I have decided I'm going as a pickle. Woo, pickle Sean! All right, so I got the costume thing taken care of and now I'm painfully aware of the fact that I haven't actually eaten today, which is something you're gonna come across as med students where you have so much to do all day and you literally lose track of time and forget to do stuff like eating. So I'm gonna see if I can pick something up on the way home. All right, we got the goods. All right, I've got my food. And while I'm eating, I'm gonna start watching this lecture on the temporal region and ear. And after I finish the lecture, I'll be able to start doing the Anki cards that go with it. Okay, we're cutting it really close on time right now. But after dinner, I just needed a little bit of a break. I lied down for a little bit, watched a little bit of Netflix. Um, and I want to say that I don't regret it, but it eh, probably wasn't the best idea. But anyways, this is coffee number three for the day. Um, and normally I try and keep it at two, but I think this is going to save my butt right now. This is what the simulation is going to look like in a little bit. We have, it's going to be a room like this, basically, where we're going to have a standardized patient and we'll have to do different things. So we'll put on like monitors and um, we'll try different treatments. We'll have to collaborate with our different groups. What I want to do for the next 20 minutes, first of all, I've already been making some notes down over here, trying to get the important reference values done. Um, but just go over like a few of these medications that are common in the emergency room and remember what they do. So obviously we have some of the easier ones like vancomycin is like a broad spectrum antibiotic. We also have lidocaine, which is a numbing agent. Um, D50W is uh, going to be like the glucose. Epinephrine is actually involved in the uh, advanced life support algorithm. So basically things like CPR and, and defibrillation and all those. So there's a lot of things here that I really don't know. I want to get that just, just on camera right now. I definitely don't know what all of these medications do or what they are um, but this is just going to be like an interactive activity and hopefully it's going to be a little bit of fun the biggest difference for me in terms of first year versus second year medical school is really focusing now on that clinical medicine aspect right it was one thing to memorize all the different diseases in the pathophys and i think i did really really well in that area we put a lot of time to studying that but it's a totally new ball game now trying to figure out how to actually do things and what uh, amounts or dosages to give for certain medications and what to give if this first medication doesn't work. That part's been really stressing and challenging, um, but also like really interesting too. The simulation is going to run from 8 to 9.30. And after then, uh, hopefully Sean will want to hang out for a little bit because I definitely just want to chill out once this is all done. So I finished the lecture, but I still have a lot of the cards left to do, but I'm starting to get really tired. I think the day is starting to catch up with me. So I think I'm going to take a break, take a shower, kind of relax for a little bit, and then finish the cards later. All right, I just got out of the shower. Before I do anything else tonight, I'm going to get on a call with John Luca and see how the rest of his day went. What's up, dude? How'd your day go? <laughs> oh my gosh, dude. It was crazy. It was crazy. Uh, the last time I talked to you at our lunch call, I think I remember telling you that I thought that the rest of my day was going to be like smooth sailing, right? But yeah. then as soon as I said that, it just, the to-do list just piled up and it was nuts after that. I don't know what happened. What'd you have to do? I had, okay, so originally all I had to do was Anki cards um, and getting ready for my session tonight with our, our standardized case. But then what happened was um, my research supervisor actually messaged me that we needed to get some work done with one of the projects that we were working on. Um, and this weekend's Halloween, so I, I can't really do much on, on the Saturday. So we had to do like a meeting, got us all together. We did a, a lot of writing after that. And then I got all my Anki cards done. And then finally, at the very end, we did our emergency medicine case, like our simulated case where we had a whole bunch of people in my class, they broke us up into small groups and they gave us like a standardized situation, right? So in my case, we had a 25 year old man uh, that came in with status epilepticus, right? So that's a seizure lasting more than five minutes. And then we hooked up all the different monitors. This was all done like totally interactive online, by the way, right? So we hook up, yeah, dude, it was awesome. We put the IVs in, um, we hooked up the different monitoring systems. We saw that the glucose was a little bit low, so we tried to fix that. Uh, then we pushed like uh, four milligrams out of van trying to fix it. Anyways, by the end of it, everyone was just yelling out different ideas and it was really fun and interactive, but I'm dead after that. I'm super tired. Dude, that sounds exhausting. That sounds super, super exhausting. So this is like a program or something that you guys can do all these like simulated patient stuff on? Or like, what is it? I think it's new because of the whole school being closed, right? Right. So it's like, a, yeah, it's a program. They, they do it with, it's totally online. And they have the one doctor in your group watching over you guys and like giving you feedback. And then they just leave it to the medical students. So whatever decisions you make influences what happens to the patient. So if you do something wrong, you see their heart rate start to spike or their blood pressure going down, right? So it was really, really high stress, but also a ton of fun. How, how was your day? Tell me about it. No, that's awesome. Uh, my day was pretty good. So I, I kind of had a busy schedule after the afternoon. 
um, of a bunch of stuff I wanted to get done. So basically, as soon as we got off our afternoon call, I had to work on a presentation for my problem-based learning class, which is basically like we get like a patient case, so, you know, like a patient kind of encounter. Uh, and we do the first three hours of the case on Tuesdays and we do the last three hours on uh, Thursdays. And anything that kind of comes up on Tuesday that we don't really know a whole lot about, we have to like make presentations on and we have to give our presentations on Thursday. So we spend like the first, like the first half of Thursday's class doing our presentations. Everyone has to do one. And so mine is on Horner syndrome, which uh, is, you know, as you know, an issue with the sympathetic nervous system where you have like, you know, anhydrosis, ptosis, uh, meiosis. And so it was cool for me to get to do that presentation because we're currently in the neuroanatomy block. So we don't know a lot of path. So it was kind of nice to actually get like, you know, a path thing that I could kind of learn about, which helps with the anatomy and physiology a little bit. Uh, so I had to work on that presentation. I have to give it tomorrow. And then I had to finish my Anki cards for the afternoon. So that took a little bit of time. I went to the Halloween store and got a costume. I'm going, you know, I'm hanging out with a couple of buddies from school this weekend. And so I needed something to wear. And I went and grabbed some dinner while I was doing that. And then I basically came back and watched an entire lecture on the temporal region and ear. And I started doing the Anki cards for that. I haven't finished, honestly. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do it tonight. Uh, but I started to get pretty tired towards the end of the day. And then somewhere in there, I managed to film an Anki video for my YouTube channel, which took like three tries because my technology was just not helping me out a lot. My MacBook died at one point. Another, like, another take, the audio was just all weird and like distorted and I have no idea why. And then so after like three tries, I finally got it. Uh, which that definitely ate some of my time this afternoon. I thought it was gonna be super quick. I thought I was just gonna film it and call it a day, but no, it definitely uh, was a little bit more difficult than it should have been, but I still managed to get it all done. So yeah. <laughs> Dude, that's nuts. I don't know how you fit it all in, especially because I remember back in the first year when I was doing neuro, like neuro was my least favorite section in all of pre clerkship by far. There's just so many different pathways and different regions that you got to know. So man, props, it sounds like uh, like you had a pretty eventful day. Yeah, it was a pretty, pretty long day. Uh, feels productive and your day seemed like it was pretty long as well. So Dude, I don't know about you. I'm tired now. You know, like uh, I was, it was going pretty good today, but I'm just ready to relax. You got time to chill for a little yeah. bit or what? Yeah, I've got time. Let's, let's hang out. Let's play some games. Awesome, man. Let's do it. I've actually learned I'm like the absolute worst at being the imposter. Like I'm just not slick whatsoever. And it is, it is just quite obvious when it's me. Dude, I laugh. That's the worst part. Like you I laugh? Can't. I got to, especially now that I'm on Zoom, I got to keep it together. What? No way. Someone wow. already die? There's no way. Oh my gosh. I How didn't even pay attention. Die? Have you had like time to play games while you've been in med school? Because I, I feel like I've actually been playing more games than I thought I would be able to. Yeah. Maybe not well, a game. I had this talk with my buddy because he's like, listen, like. You were an imposter? Oh. What? <laughs> I looked up before I, I didn't know everyone was dead already. Wow. You were an imposter already the first game? First one. Oh my god. I, I had to hide it in the beginning too. Dang. You think you know a guy. You think. <laughs> I, knew I knew it too. I just have to get you all by yourself. <laughs> I even tried to protect them. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, I, oh my gosh. I saw the give you a straight face. When I saw I was the imposter, I was like, oh no. All right, guys, that's the end of part two of comparing the days and the lives of a first year medical student and a second year medical student. Thank you so much, man, for joining me on this. It was a great idea. It was a lot of fun. Uh, if you guys haven't seen part one, definitely go check out John Lucas' channel. It's up there. Um, and it, it was a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun. Yeah. No, it was awesome. Thanks so much for having me on. And thanks so much for, for playing and hanging out after. I had a ton of fun. Um, so I guess I'll see you soon, buddy. Yeah, sounds good. Have a good one, man. All right. Take it easy, guys. Bye. Ooh.